Yes, sir. Yo, yo, yo. Yes, sir. What to do, my brother? What's up, bro? Today is another episode of Riding with Rich. As y'all know, man, we back at it with another one, man. I'm in here with my boy. CFWAD, C4 Yemi. I got real fucking ops out here. Yemi, bro. Hold on, hold on. Usually that's the part where I introduce you. Oh, wow. Uh, nah, I'm just playing. Let's go. Cool. You know what I'm saying? We got seafood in the building, man. Yeah, we got yeah. seafood in the building. How you feeling, boy? Chilling, bro. Chilling. I, bro, honestly, I was trying to find somewhere to slide for us, like in a safe way. So gotta we, be safe, bro. I got the blip on me, bro. I don't bro, got time for no cops. Bro, I got mine on me too, but you know, mine's legal. Yeah, I'm, <laughs> yeah I ain't supposed to have one. That's the thing, man. Man, well, even we don't get to slide today, we just, you know what I'm saying? We're gonna have, I, I'm gonna try. We're gonna try to figure up, it out. I look, my whole thing is, I just. My brother, you, you know what I'm so, saying? Regardless, yeah. So we ride around, kick it, whatever. People, a lot of people, a lot of people don't know, bro. We we've been we've been good friends for how many years now? Like best, uh -huh. I would say best friend. Like you, my best friend. You're my best friend too. Right? Like in Atlanta, like, my brother, bro. Right. Yeah, no cap. Like that's like it's, it's like, like five years. Facts. It's like been a good friend, real yeah. brother, man. So yeah, bro. Pretty much like you know what I'm saying. I want to start it. Start it off. I can turn the air down a little bit. Start it off like you know what I'm saying. Let people know where you're from. Let people know you know what you stand on. You know. Let people know your story I a little bit. Business, you hear me? Somebody play okay. me. It's gonna get like that. Really, really. You, 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 you gonna stand on business behind me? You're my brother for sure. Come ain't on, like man. nobody play with you. The back door ain't open. None of that. You know what I mean? <laughs> All right. You know, outside of that, not being uh, negative. You know what I mean, I'm from Philly. Saying. It's all good. It's in the past, you know what I'm saying? We speak, we speaking on what speaking you came on the up past. from. Yeah, yeah speaking but on that, the that's past. what I that's what I've been on though, you know what I mean? Growing up and all that, you know, my surroundings and all I'm from Philly. Yeah, we're gonna go at it. Go go down there. I was a good kid growing up, you know what I'm saying? Right. Start losing people, I got on that. I was boxing and all that, left boxing alone and got on some real street shit because niggas I pain losing people, you know what I'm saying? Right. So it got me on that and start turning up and start throwing that shit at these dick kids. Real right. <laughs> oh my god. But no, I've been shot 17 times. You know what I'm saying? Oh. Not all at once, four different occasions. Really? Sorry. It's four? Yeah. For some reason, I thought it was six different occasions. No, four. No, it's because last time you got shot, you were shot six times, right? Yeah, yeah. First time I got shot once, second time, seven times, thir third time, three times, and the fourth time, six times. Do the math. One seven three six seventeen, baby. You know what I mean? You, know what I'm saying? you ain't, ain't, you, ain't, ain't gonna, you ain't gonna forget that number. No, nah, for sure. But ain't nothing to brag about though. With it, I, but, but I but I said because uh, you you can you can buck, you can my fault. You can buckle it behind you just so it don't be dinging. I don't ever say it's like bragging that because ain't nothing cool about getting shot. None of that. It's a blessing though. You hear me? Like I ain't gonna lie, you you got me on my P's and Q's though. On God, oh, like sure. on, on like camera. Oh, I know like, over the years. I yeah, over know. the years, like you see, I peep, I yeah. peep shit a lot better now. Nice. Like I'm yeah, I'm still point. not always on point like the way you are, but yeah, like you want your shit way better than a than a regular civilian though. Way right. Better, you know well, 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 you know most regular civilians don't got real fucking ops out here, so. Well, right. <laughs> <laughs> they don't. How was it the first time you got shot? Like how did like that was my first time getting shot. I got shot in my hand over here. Yeah. My hand, Sean, you know, go up close to it. That's why my hand look like that. Yeah, my fingers and all that. I ain't gonna lie, that jaw it was burning like a motherfucker. Oh, this shit burning, bro. I'm like, damn, like this shit grown. What was the most painful time you got shot? How does it feel? Like, do you does it go numb or you feel that shit? The first time I got shot was the least times I've been shot out of all four different occasions. That probably was the worst time because I got shot in my hand. I actually can feel it. All the other times I was like out of it, like you know what I'm saying, like I was like in and out, like real, real. Right. You better bang us out. I already been <laughs> shot. You better crash and all that one. Oh yeah, boy, crazy. It was, a, it was gonna be a fender bender, but I was going I was gonna leave the scene though. I ain't gonna lie. Yeah, but I you was. You can't uh, catch me in that slow ass charger. So like, how did it? How did it change your mindset the first time you got hit? I remember you telling me right. Uh, if you want, I don't know if you want to go in detail or not. How it happened? You were sitting on the porch, and you was like, you was basically like most of these dudes out here. Like your mindset, like man, they ain't on shit. They 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 ain't on none of that. Yeah, you seen said, them? Cause I said, hey, well, I said, I said, be around them niggas that shot me the first time. Them niggas is pussy, bro. I know them niggas. They turkey, you hear me? Right, right. That's usually how. That's usually how it happens. It's usually somebody you know. Yeah, I'm like these niggas turkey. They ain't on shit, bro. They started throwing that shit at me. I said, oh, shit, these niggas, somebody piped these niggas up. They got a little heart today. I said, these They niggas. got some heart today. They got some perks in their body or something. Son, I'm like, something going on. You know, a lot of niggas be turkeys. They be taking drugs to slide. They's on something. That boy Seafood said he don't need no drugs to slide. He don't know that. Man, I don't do drugs, bro. I don't smoke weed, none of that shit. I used to slide. I, 
And every time, only drug I ever did was a Percocet. I get prescribed those, and I start getting those when I got when I start getting After shot. After you got shot, cause your body was hurting. But yeah. you know, it's crazy. Like, do you even take them anymore? No. Like, it's crazy. He really winged himself off of them, cause you were saying how it, it made you um, feel a certain type of way. Like, cause no, I think just, I think make any you, prescription they make, too, they make you too uh, codependent on them. Like, you be needing them. Like, I don't like that. Like. And it's like when you didn't get them, you you'll be in pain, so you'll be mad, like uh, like like irritated. What do you hate the most about what people know about you, and what do you love the most about people that know about you? Like like what they know about you. Like it's certain stuff. I'm sure like you you don't like people to know certain things, but you know like what you do on social media and stuff like that. Like they gonna know certain things like that. So like what what's some of your pet peeves and stuff like that? I don't know. To be honest with you though. A lot of people don't really know much about me though. For real? People, I don't really tell people much you're about me. You're a private person? I'm a private person. The only time you gotta be close to me to know about me. And anything that people do know about you, you want them to know that? Basically. Basically. People only know what I want them to know. Right. Well, hey, people don't Oh know yeah, know that's a bar know. right there. People only know what I want them to know. Uh, for real though. You know that. You know, I, you know I do. Yeah, I, I'm just trying to get, you know, stuff, I'm trying to get them acquainted with you. Yeah, it's stuff you, you know about me that, uh, a lot of people don't. Right. You know what I'm saying I don't. I don't. You know what I'm saying. Right. So I gotta be close to you and, and rock with you on a certain level for me to tell you like certain stuff about me. Like other than that, I ain't with it. But right. one thing I can say is, like my whole life, um, that was one of the reasons why, why I was like I like to, to uh, start doing like like content, social media content, right. videos, because. My whole life, everybody thought to call me crazy, niggas, bitches. Everybody think I'm crazy because because my past, how I move, how I get down. Right. Everybody think I'm crazy, but they don't see the, the good side. They just hear about the bad. The I know the good story. side. Exactly. This a loving friend right here. Like he'll take a bullet for you and he'll send some bullets for you. Exactly. He he'll do both. But he'll this, die for you. He like once you once you once you locked in with seafood. You pretty much like ain't no fake little genuine. It's love not no me. fake. My nah. love genuine. Like, and you know me. You know me. I'm the same way. Yeah, you is, and that's why I get disappointed. Like that's why it's hard for me to be, start be cool with everybody because everybody be having hidden agendas. Right. And they don't. They love ain't genuine. They just be trying to get something out of you. Like and, a lot of times, I don't like that because my love, like if I fuck with you, I really fuck with you. I don't, I'm not just saying I fuck with you. Dude. Right. To get something out of it. You feel me? Right. Yeah. And a lot of I was gonna say a lot of times people like with you. Like, and I be the same way, but most of the time, I don't really have to hip you on people because you're really good at reading people. I am too, for the most part, but a lot, like, I think with me, I'm more lenient on people. Like, I let people get away with more than what you would. Yeah. So, like, if it's something I, I tell you about a situation, or if, let's say, even if you peep it, if you peep a situation and you see how pe how somebody treats me, like, that shit gets you more mad than it does me. Not for sure. All right, bro, why you, like, this dude ain't, he ain't. Yeah, you, you, you don't rock yeah. with you like that, bro. He right. just, you know what I mean? Yeah, I be yeah, I let people get away with too much, bro. But that's something I'm really working on. I have a heart I'm like a people pleaser. Like I try to make everybody happy and stuff like that. So it's like I try to I try to keep, you know what I'm saying? Uh, to an extent, like I'm not a pushover or nothing like that. You know that, but it's like I'm I'm just I try to be cool with everybody who I feel like is cool with me, but sometimes mm -hmm. I, I like I feel like I overcompensate and do too much to try to prove myself or to try to be cool with people when it's like if it should be natural you know see i've been too too much in life the 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 um feel like that like nigga, right like for a perfect example how you can meet people hey what's up you can just meet them hey take my number and, uh, yeah 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 with me i'm know. like super like i'm yeah. like a book i'll meet somebody and like give them my number and stuff like that i'm not like doing that right like all right but i'll see you around it gotta take more than one time for me to be ready to start that well, a lot, I'm gonna be honest too. Like I be, I play that role, but I can peep. Like I be knowing what people be on. So a lot of times I act, I act like cool and stuff with that in front of them. But if I see that their intentions ain't genuine or they trying to use me or get something out of me, then I'ma just, you know. A lot of times people just won't be friends with you just because you got an image or a name for yourself. No, uh, for sure. People don't know you changed a lot over the years, though. Mm -hmm. Over the past five years, I know you. You was a, you was a lot. I feel like you a lot happier now. Like, what made you get like into such a like a better place mentally? Because I feel like when I first met you, I don't think you was in a very good place mentally. I wasn't. Like, yeah, I could tell. I, I mean, I like I said. A lot I of times tell. I used to be by myself. Like, every times I be with you, as soon as I leave you, I get in the car and cry. I mean, think about my homies. I, I, never, I never knew that. Yeah, I, I, I'm crying. 
think about all my homies I lost, the yeah. times I got shot, all this stuff like, and me getting shot by stuff pay a toll on me too, messed me up mentally a lot. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie, I remember one time, like, you don't like crying in front of people, like, so I try to get you to open up like that, but you, you, you had left the crib because we was talking about your PTSD and how bad it was, and I was trying to get you to talk about it, and then you just left the crib, I could tell you was about to, you, you was like about to cry, you was thinking about your past and stuff like that, I ain't gonna lie, like, when I, I think about my friends, like, my friend, Timothy Michael Stevenson, a lot of people don't know, this is why I got this chain. Timothy Michael Stevenson, my best friend, Space Kid Timothy, got, got murdered. But I get to crying too. There's nothing wrong with crying. A lot of people think there's something wrong with crying. Sometimes you just gotta let it out. I feel, I feel like it's the you get that good gut wrenching cry when you by yourself. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, sure. You get the best cries when you by yourself. Like you, you get that shit out your chest. I like that's why a lot of times I like being by myself anyway. People be understanding like. That's why I be hating that. Like, we were just talking about, like, chicks be getting mad. I'm like, yo, I just got to, like, I need time to think, get my thoughts together. Like, I be going through my own. A lot own. of times you can't think, you can't think how you want to think when you're around other people. I just want to keep talking and shit. Like, I don't got time for that. Like, I ain't trying to talk. I'm trying to think and get my shit together. Like, right. I used to hate being like that, though, like, when I'm not in a good space and shit because, um, as me being a parent and a father and stuff, like, Sometimes, like me not being happy, I would, I would um, not want to do as much, like go out, take my son places, stuff like that, because I just want to be like alone. Like, yeah, left alone. Or, like, but now that I'm in a, in a better place, take my son out you more. Open it up a lot yeah, more. Yeah, I get to, I mean, so. That's like, another thing, too. It's a lot of things that you can do. There's a lot of things you can do in another city, like Atlanta, versus like you know you can't do back home, you know what I'm saying? Bro, when I was in Philly, my son never hung with me, bro. Unless we was in the crib, I never went anywhere with him. Why, yeah. you just didn't I want to put him in harm's way? I want to put his life in danger like that. Especially yeah. when I got, when I say I got real fucking ops, that shit, bro. That people, shit ain't just people no don't, People don't get it. That shit, people bro. don't get it. it ain't, yeah, it ain't just content. Like, you've been shot 17 times. Like, obviously it's gonna, let's see. Obviously it's gonna, you know, to be shot 17 times, you you definitely was on some street shit. People don't people don't understand. I that even thought being shot 17 times. Most people, I got shot four different occasions, bro. Mm -hmm. The people do get sometimes people get shot for innocent bystanders once in their life or whatever. I got shot four different times. Yeah, bro. and four they was they, years. and it was all it was all on some and it all was coming from me. <laughs> like my my best friend, he got shot one time and died, bro. A lot of people don't live that like. That's crazy. I never heard 17. Like, I done heard, like, 50 cent. Like, he got shot nine times. Your boy, uh, he, Man Man, he got shot, what, eight eight times, nine times? Yeah, Man Man got shot, like, nine times. My other man got shot eight times. I got another homie that been shot 15 times. All my homies, like, in Philly, they know all my homies that came up with me got shot. Mm. All, all of them. Mm. So all, we all was on some real shit. Or the ones that still alive. Mm -hmm. Been shot a bunch of times, like you know what I'm saying, and a lot of them dead. So if they ain't dead, they've been shot more than every one of them been shot more than five times. I don't even know how to get. The only one I can say that probably uh, been shot like one time was Blizz. Blizz was probably the only one that been shot one time in his, in his face. And he only got hit once in his face. Yeah. But a face shot to survive a face shot is crazy. All my homies been shot more than more than five times. Cliche, but what do you want to what do you want to tell people who feel like that street shit is cool? Because obviously, like you moved a long way from the streets, so it's nothing cool about it. I just made a video about that on my YouTube, literally. About yeah, how you gotta um, look over your shoulder every every couple seconds. You gotta you can't live like a civilian. You can't party. You can't go to any store. You can't just walk around. You can't enjoy the air. You can't. It's a lot of stuff you can't do. Yeah, it's not it's not like peaceful how it's supposed it's to not be. Not peaceful. It's yeah, not, you're not living. You're not living life, life like me. Yeah. I thought that was life until I moved to Atlanta, and I'm like, when I moved to Atlanta and I see what I, things I can do out here, I said, I wasn't. That's when I realized I wasn't living life. Damn, and that's, that's probably part of the reason when I came out here. That's deep. Why I was still how you say I wasn't uh, uh, still there because it's like I'm so used to being in a toxic place. Right. That I had to adjust a bit out here. You know what I'm saying I had to adjust like. Right. That I'm. Because I first came out, I kept wanting to go back home. 
then I had to come to realization. What do I do when I go back home? And you went back, and you went back home a few times. I remember. I go back home. I was to go home a lot, but I'm like, why? Every time I go there, all I do is stay, stand on the block. Right. My homies stand outside. Guns you realize you, re you realize this ain't life to live. Yeah, I'm like, man, shit, I ain't grown ass man. I got a son now, and from these things yeah, in the way. It's different when you got kids. I'm like, these things, these, they in the way. I gotta get away from that. Do you have like your goals like set like once I do this then then I feel like I've accomplished everything I want to accomplish or do you feel like that'll never come? You know, just always obviously like I feel I like I feel like it'll never come. I'm a, yeah, I mean because it's something new I'm gonna achieve every time I reach a goal. Right. So right now exactly. that's my goal is keep going crazy on social media. Create content. Create People don't know you got a uh, you got a movie on Netflix. I got a, I got a book out. I want to turn that into a movie and star it. You know what I'm saying? Play my own way down 50 Cent to get rich without trying. Right. That's a lot. So it's a, it's, it's a lot I want to do. You know what I'm saying? And keep climbing after that. I'm gonna also, also add in other movies, and big projects, and all that. I think I should probably make a right right here. Damn, I'm all the way over here though. Let's see. Bitch, look over here. That bitch face ugly as shit. <laughs> Can I get right here? Thank you. Big face ass ho. What type of girls you like? It was crazy. And one time I had like a fetish for like first of all I like I like girls with um pretty girls, long hair, mm -hmm. just fat asses. Mm -hmm. I ain't gonna lie, I, I ain't a really a, a You don't like the skinny type? Nah, I like skinny girls. But the skinny girls got it. Yeah, you can be skinny with a nice ass though. Nice petite ass, that's what I like. But um, What about no ass? Nah, ain't gonna work for me. I, I can't either. I can't either. Ain't either. gonna work for me. Have you ever girl, seen you ever girl seen a girl got real big uh, titties and, and, and a flat ass won't work for Bro, me. you ever you ever seen a bat a baddie, right? And then you want it, then like once you see her, she walk past you and you just, and you and you see if she got some ass and she ain't got none, you like you wanted bro. you disappointed. You wanted to say something. Bro. You wanted to say something to her so bad, but you just can't. It's just because there's no ass. Like, what I'm going to do with that, girl? I'm going to break you in half. I don't care about no big tits. tits. I don't care about none of that. You can have them big ass titties. I'm actually tweaking. <laughs> oh, oh, shit. You, <laughs> right. you had to pick ass or titties. You're going to pick the ass every day. Sure. You'll talk to a girl with a, with a big booty with uh, small titties. Yeah, for sure. Most girls with big booties got small titties. Right. Uh, but when they got... It's rare, if it's rare, you see them with both. And if they do it, it's something fake. Right. That's what I was about to say. Most of the time, it's like they get implants or done. Something yeah. done. But uh, it's rare you see a girl born with both. The only one I see born with both is the you know, little shorty I was in the last one. I was stuck on you right now. Man. Oh, yeah. Natural? Yeah. It's natural. They still got both. But other than that... You prefer you prefer natural or, or I like natural girls. I ain't gonna lie. Like I, I'm like more of a natural. Oh, girl. that would have been perfect if we could have got in there. That looked like a runway though. That's a that's that private airport I think they got. Bro, don't have me on no how shit. I got this gate on me. I don't got time. You hear me? Run, so we run. can't slide. Yeah, you can't. You gotta be smart. Only you ready to run. Oh damn right. You gonna get up out of there. <laughs> we ain't got no choice. Now that I know about the laws and shit about that they they told me about that 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 uh it's called laying laying drag in atlanta i don't know which county it's in i don't know if it's an ordinance none of that i'm gonna get up i got charged with that drag racing and all that yeah bro they did they, they got a new they got a new one called laying drag let's go to the country country boy country. let's talk to a white girl sure i had a couple white girls they freaky too I love fucking your race, treating them bitches. <laughs> what, what's the what's the motive behind it? <laughs> Shit, I just like to get back, get my get back for what they for what, ancestors for what, did to my for ancestors. What my ancestors did to yours. <laughs> for sure. So I like to treat them, put them on camera, put something. I just, I can't even talk too crazy. You put this on YouTube. <laughs> but I be treating them white girls, bro, bro. I treat them. You gonna dog out a white girl harder than you dog out a black girl? For sure. <laughs> 
racially motivated. I'm gonna have more respect for racially that, motivated. the black girl that I'm treating. Because they go through way more than the white girl. Huh? White girl treating. Me. Right. I hope no I hope no white girls see this bro. <laughs> they gonna know. They like, they like that. They, yeah, they don't care though. That's the crazy part. They bro, come on bro, look at this guy. Like you bitches know you getting with a dog when you get with him. But the crazy part is you 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 gonna treat right who you wanna treat right though. You ain't gonna dog out everybody though. I'm really not that's crazy because I'm really not a dog though. I just, if I fuck with you, like, and I want to beat you, I'm you want, gonna be you. You want me to tell them your secret? What secret? Bro, this man cuff every bitch he talks to. Oh, for sure. I don't want nobody else getting it. Right. Everybody ain't no secret, it's like, bro. It's like, everybody that know me know that. Right. No, but I'm saying everybody watching this don't know you. Oh, yeah, <laughs> for sure. I ain't no good. I don't Tuck Master Flex, you know what I mean? Tuck Master Flex. Uh, right, I'm tucking her, bro, right, right. That's my oh, shorty now. Oh, yeah. Oh, and if you, find, if you find out somebody else smashing, then what? I ain't gonna do nothing. I'm gonna cut her off. She out of there, right? Yeah. No, nah, I'm not saying you're gonna do nothing to her. I'm saying, oh, yeah, like, she getting cut off. She getting up out of there. Get her up out of there. Get out of there. Get out of there. I feel like you'll ever cuff. I feel like you'll ever, like, actually cuff somebody and not, like, be faithful. Like, I mean, if I, if I, um, <clears throat> rock with you, I rock with you, but, you know, but I, I'm, blah, blah, blah. I, listen, any girl I fuck with, I'm, I ain't gonna lie, bro, I was gonna, I was in a long relationship, I don't even wanna do that again right now, why not, especially after the situation I had, after that, I'm just cool, so any girl I mess with now, I'm letting them know I'm here to be shared, bro, like, I'm here to be shared, bro, right, right, I'm here to get passed around, bro, like, I'm gonna get my love, Around, bro. I want to. And when you say when place. you say when you say love, explain. My love, bro. Not literally like me love you. Like my love, like basically me, you know. <laughs> yeah, me getting busy, running down on you, all crazy, like real rap. I want to pass that around. Shorties don't be cool with that though. I, I literally got shorties that like. So you got community dick. Basically, uh, shorties really tell me they like this. I know you. I, I know. I know. I know you got hoes. I don't care. I just want one of them. They tell me that. They oh, know my. what's up. Yeah, they know what's up, bro. I'm that nigga, bro. I'm CM Double Look Deep, bro. Ooh, see you nasty. What's up, bad bitch, Paul? See, like, I'm talking about, Like, I'm talking about, eh? We can <clears> take care of stuff like that, man. Nappy, you know? Right. CM Double O fucking D, bitch ass. No, my fault, bro. Sorry. <laughs> no, I started tweaking out, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Started tweaking. I wonder if I had a dollar for every time you called me a bitch. I'd probably be a really wealthy man. Spit a freestyle. Uh, I said C-F-double-O-D Almost put a nigga in that car on a fucking T He's gonna die real quick on my B I swear to God, I fuck on the D His bitch, she be sucking on the dick She be eating on the Yeah, eating on the dick She be sucking on the click I'ma eat her ass I'ma throw her some cash I'ma blast her. that pussy ass nigga When he flash like Don't lash at me Cause I'ma shoot Don't play with C-F-double I'ma uh, I shoot up that whole fucking coop Niggas know when I come to the tomb yeah, I got a nice little pocket rocket. Yeah, it'll shoot you in your pocket line. Yeah, I don't feel like fucking rapping, nigga. Yeah, cause I really be out here clapping, niggas. Yeah, I ain't no rapper, nigga. Yeah, I be clapping, nigga. <laughs> that was fire. The speed round is where we spin for a series of about 20 to 30 seconds. Uh, what we'll be doing is uh, constantly rotating in a circular motion. Um, <laughs> and uh, we're going to ask Seafood a series of questions and see what his answers may be. So, Seafood, you about ready? Do you think? Nigga, what are you talking Fuck about? You. What I'm, what's there to even talk about, right? All right, so Seafood, drums or flats? Do you like drums or do you like flats? Flats. Like flats? All right. Big booties or little booties? Big booties. I guess we already talked about that. Okay. If you had to pick one, uh, let's see, uh, tacos or wings? Wings. Ta all right, tacos or wings. All right, if you had to get I one. I like tacos, too. You like, yeah, tacos are good as fuck. If you had to pick one for the rest of your life, if you had to pick one for the rest of your life, would you do, uh, would you do uh, head or coochie? For the rest of your life. For the rest of your life. 
that's it, ladies and gentlemen. That is the conclusion to the speed round. We are done. Let me go get my phone <laughs> so we can get crazy. out of here. <laughs> Pull up for the cops, cup, dickhead. Real rap. This thing is crazy, bro. Oh, smoked it out. We smoked it out, see? We smoked it out, see? We smoked it out, see? Get up out of there. Get up out of there. Get up out of there, see? Get up out of there, see? On some quick shit. On some quick shit. Get up out of there. We gonna get up out of there. We gonna get up out that jam, see? We in the scat. Ah, the dust in my eyes. Woo! Doesn't that just get your adrenaline pumping, baby? Makes you feel good, doesn't it? I'm out here with my motherfucking boy CF Double O D. You know what I'm saying? From Memphis to the motherfucking P to the Philly to the A. You know what I'm saying? The MPA, MPA, Money Power Ammunition. Fuck you talking about? Yeah, Goofy Dickhead. Fuck you talking about? I don't get to slide my car a lot, so when I do, it's just a, it's just a, it's just a, it's just a you know. And just like that, we blend in with traffic, baby. We out of there. Woo! Yes, sir. We're in the scat. We're in the scat. Seafood know I'm handling this bitch, too. That's Ooh. why I don't even. If somebody don't know what they're doing, I would have been like, you know what I'm saying? Like, yo. You been like, yo, I already know what you know what you're doing. How you would have been if, if they didn't know what they was doing? Yo, dickhead, chill out, bro. Before I bang this shit out your nut ass and make you part this yarn. Oh, all right. Sure. Well, I wouldn't want you to be like that with me, bro. Good. Man, bro, this car feels so good. If y'all, listen, I don't, listen. If you ain't got a muscle car already, don't get a Camaro. Don't get a Mustang. Get you a Mopar, baby. There's nothing like it. How many followers you been gaining? So I got back on, um, doing videos. Yeah. Going 23. That's lit. Congrats, bro. We need to throw you a party. 200k 200k special y'all make sure y'all rise to the occasion i'm gonna have my man cf double od in the building y'all if y'all don't know who that is he got real fucking ops out here man make sure y'all pull up to the club man we having bitches we having bottles hookah everything you can name we got the chefs in the back going crazy man we having a good time out tonight y'all does that sound lit yeah does that sound lit bro sure <laughs> Bro, you so light skinned, bro. <laughs> you just on the you just on the jump slide, you like this. <laughs> All the dust in the background. Right. So light skinned, bro. Right. You just like on this whole like. <laughs> right. okay. Well, honestly, man, we about to go shoot some content for you guys, man. We do. I upload a lot on Instagram. Uh, if you haven't <clears> followed him already, make sure you follow him. I'm gonna put the tag right here. And if you haven't followed me on Instagram, make sure you follow me right here. I post a lot of like shorts content that I don't post on YouTube and Facebook and other things of that nature. So make sure you guys follow us on Instagram. Follow him on YouTube as well. See uh, seafood. C F O O D. In other C words, C F. Hmm, my bad. Go, ahead, go, ahead. go crazy. Go crazy. C F O O D. In other words, C F double O fucking. Yeah, man. Go, you know go hit my YouTube John real right. Yeah, make sure you follow that YouTube. Follow him on Facebook too. What's your Facebook? Uh, MV Powell. MV Powell. So I'm going to put that right here too. And I'll put all the links in the description to make it easier for you guys to follow us. If you guys enjoyed this episode, let me know what type of guests you want to see on the next episode. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it, man. Riding with Rich. This is, I believe, episode four. So uh, yeah, like I said, guys, comment your favorite parts. Comment your comment your social security number <laughs> all right bro no cap with a full name and date of birth bro i appreciate you guys watching this make sure you subscribe make sure you do all that good jazz